Hi guys and welcome back to my Evilness podcast. Today we are going to be talking about the true crime case of Bradley Brewitt. Bradley was 22 years old when he went missing. Bradley was last seen by friends on New Year's Eve of 2016 and he was reported missing to Tasmania Police on the 17th of January 2017. Bradley's body was discovered at about 7pm on Friday the 3rd of February at Lake Eugenia, which is near Sprayton, about 10 kilometres southwest of Devonport. Divers were used to find and recover the body. A week prior to this, forensic examiners had searched a home in Parklands Parade at Newham, where they believed that Bradley was killed. Police allege that Bradley was assaulted and suffocated with a plastic bag and he had also been waterboarded with a hand towel over allegations of his involvement with a stolen car. The two accused men, Ricky John Izzard and Mark Rodney Jones, it is alleged then moved Bradley to a different location before heading then to a third location to dispose of evidence. The body was allegedly stuffed into a bean bag and had weights attached to it to weigh it down. The court heard that Jones had parked his Nissan Patrol four-wheel drive along Westbury Road near the Bass Highway at Prospect with a for-sale sign for $22,000. When Jones went to retrieve his car six days later, it had been stolen. So Jones proceeded to make up a flyer which he handed out and spread around via Facebook. Jones also offered a $5,000 reward for his car and he was soon given information from various different people that Bradley Brewer had been seen driving it. Jones and Izzard, who worked for Jones at the time, as in Izzard worked for Jones at the time, went to the unit where Bradley, where he had stayed the night before, which was one of his friend's houses, to confront him about the car. So it's been said that it was actually the girlfriend of the friend where Bradley was staying who told Jones he was there due to a comment that Bradley had made to her after she and her boyfriend had a fight and apparently Bradley said to her, that he thought she'd slept with another man and that upset her, so she then called Jones and told him that Bradley was at her boyfriend's house. (laughs) Director of Public Prosecutions, Daryl Coates, said the accused men tied Bradley's hands and feet before they began to torture him. They proceeded to punch and kick a defenceless Bradley. Then the accused proceeded to waterboard Bradley with a hand towel by placing it over his face and pouring water over it. Then a plastic shopping bag was placed over Bradley's head, not once but twice, for 40 seconds each time. All the while, Jones was demanding to know where his car was. The second time this plastic bag was placed over Bradley's head, he suffocated and died. Jones did try to revive Bradley, but he failed, and Jones did not call an ambulance for Bradley. Jurors heard throughout the trial that Jones and Izzard went looking for a mine shaft to hide the body in, but they settled on buying a life raft from Kmart, which they used to dump Bradley's body in a lake. 
During sentencing submissions, the court heard about Jones's sketchy past. In July 1998, the then 22-year-old Jones was convicted of four counts of rape and two counts of aggravated assault. The rapes involved Jones overpowering a 17-year-old and choking her to the point that it left subconjunctival hemorrhages in the eye and red marks around her neck. A medical professional had stated at the time that the strangulation could have been life-threatening. Jones initially received a four-year sentence for the rapes, but that was increased to five years after an appeal. It was also alleged that Jones himself had been a victim of sexual assault when he was young. Jones maintained that he did not intend to kill Bradley. He just wanted to get information on the whereabouts of his car. Bradley told Jones throughout his violent interrogation that he did not know where the car was or who had stolen it. It remains unclear what actually had happened to Jones's car. Jones, 43, was sentenced to 22 years in prison for murder in 2019, but that was backdated to February of 2017. Jones will have to serve 13 years before he is eligible for parole. Ricky Izzard, 28, pleaded guilty to manslaughter, aggravated assault and perverting the course of justice over the same incident earlier that year. He was sentenced to 10 years in prison and is not eligible for parole until he has served six of those years. So that is the true crime case of Bradley Brewitt. Thank you guys so much for listening and I will try and get another one done really soon.